Since the emergence of COVID-19 as a global pandemic, the United Nations has been taking robust actions to ensure preparedness and response in all jurisdictions across the world and to enhance UN and partners' capabilities in support of countries' responses to the pandemic. In Eswatini, the UN has been responding to COVID-19 as one UN and through a multifaceted and multi-sectoral approach, primarily in support of the government's plans, strategy and needs, but also development partners, civil society, media, academia and communities. In this video, the UN Resident Coordinator, along with heads of agencies, funds and programs, share messages of hope and courage as all together we make every effort to slow the pace of COVID-19 in Eswatini and to win a war of nature, legal and socio-economic impacts unlike any other in the 75-year history of the United Nations. Our message in Eswatini is simply, do your part. Stay home, take care of your health, protect others, and stop the spread of the coronavirus. COVID-19 is an unprecedented health pandemic in modern human history, one that requires that the United Nations system works and delivers as one and work closely with a wide range of partners around the globe. As the Secretary General, Mr. Antonio Gutierrez, has advised, the work of the UN in these very challenging times focuses on three main areas. One is to tackle the health emergency. Second is to address hands-on the social, economic and humanitarian impact of the health pandemic. Three is to put in place mechanisms that ensure a speedy recovery of all countries and in particular mechanisms that ensure that countries do not lose the gain that they have made against Agenda 2030 of Sustainable Development Goals. In Iswatini, uh, we have been and we remain close trusted partners of the people of Iswatini. We shall lead by example and this is what we have been doing by staying at home, washing our hands and complying with all the measures put in place by the government of Iswatini as well as WHO and other trusted partners. We have been working from home for the past couple of weeks but I wish to assure you that our operations, our support to the people of Iswatini, to the authorities have not been hindered, they are in full motion. Together, we will root coronavirus out of Iswatini. WHO and partners are leading the response in most countries, helping to strengthen the health systems in order to provide care for those who are afflicted with the disease and also getting the message out there to prevent infection. So we are all in it. Nobody is exempt from this infection. We are all at risk of getting COVID-19 disease. So we need to protect ourselves. We need to stay at home, avoid crowded places, wash our hands thoroughly with water, or if you do not, soap and water, or alcohol-based rub, and also, if you, uh, you have a cough or you are sneezing, you can use your elbow to, to hold the cough and coughing. Or you can use um, uh, some wipes, but after that you should wash your hand thoroughly with water and soap or with, rub your hand with sanitizer. You are not paying
sisebenda nelti wole tembili kuklo COVID-19 na magle coronavirus wuti le mitholambi lo pele agube ngu leo leo tau kona kuba nagege la gashe labo maga wuti labo nesiba funze sege ne guslo wek sebenda kube kona nge ngasho nje futu kuti tine sibugete nenza ba kuti pan labasha abatole lua tigne tinte yule stendo agule tamesana na logo ne yu kuti ke pela siya kutata kuti aga suti maga ngoba na soto lagale kuti una leo korona besa suya shayo mabasu shayo insaya yetu songe lena masu ati asilale ekaya silale lakishobe kona sikeze netanja nge nsipo emanti nila kichimago langa gemi nza uonye newe kutige bo mage no masisi talane makaya pila nangabe utetwele hamba uye mtola mbilo uye popola sisu saku nangabe futu suya helo belegila espele a COVID-19 has toppled family life across the world, including in Eswatini. UNICEF has joined efforts with all other agencies, UN agencies, including WHO and all other partners, in supporting the government of Eswatini in the fight against COVID-19. UNICEF is working towards supporting vulnerable children and families in this unprecedented emergency. UNICEF is focusing its support working with WHO towards healthcare systems. It is also supporting in the provision of water, sanitation and hygiene. UNICEF is also working towards supporting care and services for vulnerable children and families. It is also supporting education, continued learning for children despite the closure of schools. Let's all do our part. Stay home. Wash your hands with water and soap regularly. UNDP is working very closely with other UN agencies, government and communities to prepare, respond and make sure we recover from the impact of this pandemic. Uh, UNDP is uh, focusing on three immediate priority areas. One is support to strengthening health systems, support to crisis management and response specific to the NDMA and the DPMOs uh, the DPMO-led National Emergency Response Platform and most importantly to respond to the socio-economic impacts that uh, the pandemic is likely to have on the country as a whole. But I would like to, to really emphasize the need to focus on the most vulnerable populations that are most likely to be impacted by this uh, pandemic. Do your part, wash your hands and stay at home. COVID-19 comes at a time when there are many ongoing crises around the world. The World Food Programme is always on the front line during emergencies. And this time, we are determined and prepared to continue our operations, saving lives and changing lives in Iswatini. As we continue our work to serve you, we ask you to do your part. Please, stay at home and regularly wash your hands. These are very extraordinary times, difficult times for all of us. However, there is hope, hope that we can defeat this COVID-19. We shall use experience from fighting AIDS in fighting COVID-19. There are a lot of lessons that have been learned. And the most important is to protect the vulnerable people, including people living with HIV. Their rights, their human rights must be respected. Keep safe, wash your hands, and make sure that this COVID-19 is kept away from your family. Na hulumende wendive na kangwa ni sesi mbonile bongo sina iso kandile wenda njaro so valile. Ngako ke bongo si tine si nchanga na ramsha kutange ni la FAO. Ungo mwetu wukuti bantu bagu tfone kutla na soso nge skazi. No maguna lu mkusha ni lonji si ya wena kuti na wendega kuti kutla kuna tfona gaji mkuti asakonu kwa shase nyuka. Watu wakene nchanga ni lena ya ramsha kutange ni FAO. Ya nita stunse kwa so ubagisana na hulumende wendive na kangwa ni. Kuti kubona na dhuti kuhusu kwa kiti tega na soso ges kati na masimo sinji asisla leni ge makaya bongo si ni ladin zima yenu 
The COVID-19 pandemic is not just a health crisis. It was also an economic crisis and above all, a labor market crisis. As we speak, many workers are now confined to their homes and are unable to go and dispense their work duties at their places of work. This is correct in order to exercise the social distancing so that together we can combat this pandemic. The situation we find ourselves in has emphasized one thing, that the importance of work, the importance of the protection of worker rights during this period is paramount. In this regard, the International Labour Organization stands fully behind the measures that have been put in place by the national authorities, particularly the Minister of Labour and Social Security, in order to ensure that the incomes of workers are safeguarded, in order to ensure that those workers who may lose income have alternatives that are also prescribed to be within the law. The International Labour Organization would like to, to encourage all workers and all people in society to exercise social distancing and to ensure that together we can fight this disease. We are in a race against time and we need to stop the spread of coronavirus as efficiently and as quickly as possible. We need to set the stage for a recovery that will build a more sustainable, inclusive and equitable economy and that will ensure that our shared promise, Agenda 2030 of Sustainable Development Goal, is met.